guys. So today I am starting my anime series and I kind of wanted to start off with just a little bit of dramatic look, you know, nothing too serious or crazy. So the character that I was requested to do is Madam Red from Black Butler and I have to say she's one of my favorite sadistic characters just because she was she's just messed up in the head and I love her. So obviously I don't have a wig like her, I don't have the red hair, but you know, that's in the works. <laughs> I'm still trying to get that wig because I really want to cosplay her. And um it was requested by my amazing daughter Domi, so of course I had to start off with a bang do something dramatic, do something crazy, because you guys know I like that kind of stuff. I like weird stuff. So, this look, yes, I have blood coming out of my mouth, because why not? Um, it's probably one of my favorite scenes out of the entire series, and I really want to cosplay that scene, but if you have not seen it, you know, you need to go watch Black Butler. I'm just saying, it's, it's amazing. And, um, yeah. Um, so I really wanted to create a look kind of inspired but also following her, you know, her natural look. Um, in the series, it kind of fluctuates between a natural look and then this like kind of a little bit of red and brown on the ends. And because my eyes are hooded, I kind of extended the color up a lot so that way when I look up and straight, you can actually see the color and it's not like just hiding. So, you can do this with or without the blood. I just really wanted to add some blood because why not? You know? So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you have any requests for me to do um, any looks from any anime or games, uh, let me know in the comments below. Leave, leave all your suggestions below. Get this video a thumbs up if you like Black Butler as much as I do. Oh my god, the feels. Like, I'm so in love with that anime, like, and it's just like, it's just, it has a special place in my heart and I can never look at Butter Knives the same way again. I just, I just can't. <sighs> but anyways, she's definitely my favorite character, well, one of my favorite characters in the series. If you guys want to see more Black Butler looks, give me a thumbs up and let me know which character you want to see. So, enough blabbing. On with the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I already applied a primer because you want your makeup to stay all day long and I just used Urban Decay's Primer Potion, the original kind, and I put it all over my lid up to my new brow and on my lower lash line as well. So, first thing we do is add the red on the inner part of our lid. I'm going to use the Take Me to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics and just add that on the inner part of your lid. I'm using mainly matte colors today um, except for the inner portion. Um, it just it just works better. But if you do have shimmery colors, you can use them, you know, if you don't have the matte, you can use what you have. And I'm just going to bring the red a little bit past my crease because I do have hooded eyelids, so I want the red to at least show when I kind of open my eyes. I don't want it to be completely covered up. And now I'm going to use a matte brown to finish off the top lid. And I'm going to be using this, the matte brown in this Fergie Wet n Wild palette from Desert Festival. This is the center one. And I'm going to use the same brush, but I'm going to wipe it off because we don't want any of that red to kind of get in there. And just start by rounding it out. I usually start on the outer portion. I kind of follow my orbital bone. That way it helps keep everything rounded. And doing C shapes really help. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher, like onto my brow bone, 
just because the eyebrows, the, the distance between the eyebrows and the eye is a lot different from ABS or how I would normally do. And, you know, once you have the shape that you are looking for, fill it in. And then I'm going to take the same matte brown and kind of smoke out my lower lash line. I'm not going all the way in because we want that shimmery inner corner look. I'm going to take a white eyeliner. This is the Fergie When Wild liner in China White. And just kind of add a base. You can use the NYX Jumbo Pencil for this. Whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to take this Milani eyeshadow in Bella Chiffon. It's a really pretty white with a gold shimmer to it. And I'm going to take a really small thin brush and add that. I'm going to add some liner. Fergie Wet n Wild gel liner in Little Black Dress. And I'm just going to do a pretty long wing. Just so it comes out past the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to line the outer portion of my lash line with the black liner from the Wet n Wild Fergie line. And the inner part with the China White. And if you're wearing this to a con, you can um, set it with eyeshadow or a translucent setting powder. Now I'm going to add this little bit of dimension and crease into my eye. I'm going to go back in with that Fergie palette and the matte brown. And a super fine angled brush. I'm using my MAC 266. And you want to create kind of a extra little crease. You don't want to do it too harsh, but you want it to be somewhat noticeable. The Mary Kay and Play Baked Eye Trio and Sunset Beach. And I'm going to go around that line that we just created with the kind of shimmery peachy color. Just for a little bit of emphasis. And you can also help blend out the harsh edges. Because like I said, I don't want this to be a stark line, but I still want it to be noticeable. And then I'm going to go back in with the brown, and I'm going to add a little line close to my lower lash line, but not quite. If you kind of squint your eyes like that, you have like this extra little line. Well, some of us do. I'm just going to kind of put it on the outer part, like um, egg yolk cell or like the little puffy parts of your eye. Just kind of add that. It just adds a little bit more of a mature look and adding the lines and stuff can help you create a character who is older than you and you know the older characters have more lines and wrinkles in their face. so. And this can help create a older, more mature appearance. And now I'm going to add some mascara. I'm going to add some false lashes. Okay, and for the lips, I'm going to start out with a lip liner. I'm going to use the Giordana Easy Liner for lips in Sedona Red. I also use this for my eyebrows. And I should have a video up before this about doing eyebrows for cosplay. But I'm going to try to mimic her lip shape.
And then I'm going to go over that liner with the Urban Decay Super Saturated Lip Color in Theodora. And I want to add a little bit of dimension to it. So I'm going to add a dark color on the inner portion. Makeup Revolution Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer and... This is in Black Heart. It's like a really dark purple and it kind of dries black ish. But I'm going to add that on the inner and just blend it out. And now for cheek. She has a uh, red blush on her cheek. I'm not going to go with that extreme. But I'm going to be adding this kind of peachy, corally, ready color on my cheeks. And I've already contoured with my City Colors Be Matte Blush. And this is in Toasted Coconut. And I'm going to just add the blush. Of course, you can stop there. But, because I'm weird, I like to go a little step further. And let's add some blood. So... I'm not going to spoil anything or say anything, but just say it, there's going to be blood on her mouth. If you have not seen it, go watch it now. Um, so, I'm going to be taking the lip pencil and kind of drawing some blood coming out of her mouth. And for a little bit more realistic feel. So, back with that dark brown eyeshadow, I'm just going to add a little bit on the... I'm just going to add a little bit on the edges. That is the finished look. Oh, for eyelashes, I used the All oh My Lash JoJo lashes, but I cut them in half. So I cut it in half and used them on the outer portion of my eyes for a more rounded look, more anime kind of inspired look. So, yeah. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. I will be doing more. Um, anime inspired looks so if you have any requests leave them below and i will definitely do them so thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you later bye